Okay, so in this brief video, we're gonna talk about percent diagrams. How to remind yourself how to find percents of certain numbers using diagrams. That's what we're gonna work on in this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our ability to kind of make fractional equivalents to percents. So everything we do for these questions is gonna look, look a lot like fraction sticks. If you remember using those in uh, maybe in your primary grades in elementary school, or it's gonna also kind of look like maybe those base 10 blocks where it's like a, a stick that has 10 blocks in it, stuff like that. That's what we're gonna focus on. All right, so now for each, for each of these questions, try to give yourself a visual. I'm gonna use blocks for the first few. I might use little pictures for the last few. And I think you'll get the idea. So in percent diagrams, it says draw a percent diagram to find the percent of each number. So we're looking for what is the piece. This says 60% of 400. That means 400 is the whole. 400 is all of it. So if we're talking a piece of pie, 400 would be the whole pie. We want to know what is 60% of the pie. Well, 60%. We know 100% is all of the pie. The whole 100% would be 400 out of 400. But we're looking for a 60% of that whole. So we only want a little bit of the pie. So what I would do is if this percentage is, I would try to find a percentage amount that we can equate to this. For example, we can break 100% into pieces. So let's see. Let's make a, a long stick. Hopefully, let's see how many I need. That'll be 1, 2, 5, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Correct length. Okay. So out of this long stick, each one of these boxes is going to represent 10%. Because 10% plus 10% plus all over and over again, if you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 percent. So I'm going to label each of them as 10%. So you remember what they're each worth. Is that and this is kind of the idea of what you can do for all of these. Okay. Next time I'll hit pause when I draw those just to get it done. All right, so the question says 60% of 400. So first things first, let's label all of it as being worth 400. All of it is worth 400 because it's 100%. Now, we're only interested in 60% of it though. We're only interested in 60%. So let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 60% is this portion right here. That's what we're interested in. We are not interested in this portion. We just want to know how much is this worth. All of it's worth 400. This much is worth, we got to figure out how much. So here's what you do. Find out how much each block is worth. So 400 is the total and we broke it into 10 blocks. So if you did 400 divided by 10, that'll tell you how much each block is worth. So each block is worth 40. Each block we found out is worth 40. So that means this block is 40, this block is 40, 40, 40, 40. So they all ended up being worth 40. That's what we found out. So now when we want to know what is this much worth, all we've got to do is just add them together. So 40 plus 40 plus 40, or just do a bunch of fours and then just add the zeros when you're done. So four, so that would be four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, just to put a zero at the end of it, so 240. So that tells us that this portion is worth 240, because every block is worth 40. So 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40. And that's what we found. And if you wanna make sure you're not crazy, make sure that when you add these on as well, that ends up equaling uh, 400. So 24 plus four, I'm dropping the zero to make it easier to add. 24 plus four is 28, plus four is 32, plus four is 36, plus four is 40. Add that zero back on, 400. So yes, all of these equal 40, I'm sorry, 400, and just these equals 240. So that's gonna be the answer to our question. That's using a percent diagram. Hit pause and see if you can do it yourself for question number two. I'm gonna hit pause and go ahead and just draw the boxes. Okay, so I went ahead and did this one going by 10% as well because I know that 10 I know that 10% goes into 30% three times. So I chose 10% for that reason. If this had been a number that 10% did not go into, like let's say this number right here was a 75%, I maybe then would have made my boxes go by 25% because 25 plus 25 plus 25, that would equal 75%. And then plus another 25 would be 100%. So base it off of what you're doing your blocks in 
based off of a number that can go into your percentage that you're interested in. Okay, so we're talking, uh, we know the entire thing is gonna be the full 150. That's the full pie, that's the full 100%. That represents 150. However, in our question, we are just interested in 30%. So just this many blocks. That's what we're interested in. That would be our 30%. So that's what we're looking for. What is 30%? So we have to do what we did up here. We have to figure out what is each block worth. So we see we have, we have 10 blocks. So you count, we got 10 blocks, that's 100%. That's because each one is 10%. We got 10 blocks, they're all worth 150. So do, so divide 150 divided by 10, and that'll tell you how much one block is worth. So every one block is worth 15. So that means every block is worth 15. 15, 15. Now at this point, you could technically stop now that, now that you know what every block is worth. You don't have to do this. I just wanted to show you that if you added all those 15s together, you would get 150. You really can just stop once you have how many you need. So we know we have three blocks. We know each block is 15. So that's 15 plus 15 plus 15. So 15 plus 15 is 30. 30 plus 15 is 45. So that tells us those three blocks are worth 30, 45. And that's going to be the answer to your question. 45 is 30% 30 of 150. Before I move on, I just want to double check. I want to touch in and make sure we're making sure our answers are reasonable. 60% we know is a little bit more than half. So you should be expecting a number that's a little bit more than half of 400 because half is 50%. So a little more half than 400. Well, half of 400 is 200. So a little bit more than that, eh, about 240. That's a reasonable answer. It's a little bit more than half. This one, 30%. Well, that's a little bit more, that's less than half of 150. And it's a little bit more than one fourth, like a quarter of it. But let's just see less than half. So we know half of 150 is 75. So this needs to be a little bit less than 75. And so that's a reasonable answer. 45 is reasonable. Use quick estimations like that. Make sure your answers are reasonable. Make sure you write, if you need to, write these down. Otherwise, let's go on to a couple more examples. All right, in these examples, we're doing the exact same thing. So we're gonna do a little more like everyday problems, a little more of an applied problem. So it says, draw a percent diagram to represent each situation, then solve the problem. This first one's about pets. There are 300 students in middle school. The favorite pet of 20% of the students is a dog. How, how many students prefer dogs? So I'm gonna do it just like the last one, 20%. That means I'm gonna break it into 10 pieces total. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a visual, but just to make it a little more real, make it feel more, like it makes more sense, I'm gonna use maybe little pictures instead. So I'm going to hit pause fast while I draw mine. Draw 10 littles of something. I know I'm an incredible artist. You'll see I broke it into 10 pictures. Instead of 10 boxes, you can do whatever. It doesn't matter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And each one's going to be worth 10%. Just because same thing one as last time because we're doing 20%. Choose an, choose an amount that goes into it. So I'm going to label each one as 10%. I'll hit pause while I finish the rest. Okay, so the total amount of all 10 units, all 10 boxes, if you want to make these boxes, is going to be 300 students. Of those 300 students, 10% plus 10%, 20% of them prefer dogs. So we just need to figure out what is each unit worth so that we know how much two units are worth. So there's 10 blocks or 10 pieces or 10 units total. I chose people and little puppies. I know those are beautiful dogs. So 300 divided by, we chose 10, that means each one is worth 30. Stop writing, stop erasing. Each one is worth 30. So that means this is worth 30, this is worth 30, and, and so on. I'm not gonna label them all, but like I said, just enough to get your answer. We know that we're interested in these two. So we're only interested in these two units. So out of those two units, those add up to 60. 30 plus 30 is 60. So that tells us 60 students prefer dogs. That's how we answer that question. Now take a moment, hit pause, see if you can knock out number four on your own. But while you do that, I'm gonna hit pause as well and I'm gonna draw a diagram for it for myself. All right, I'm a fantastic artist. I, I decided not to do purses because I didn't want to try to draw a person and get made fun of. So I just chose boxes, just something generic. Well, we know that all of them, the whole in this question, if you read it, it says that Kayla gave away 30% of the 30 purses. Of the 30, that means 30 was the whole. 30 was all of it. So all of them represents 30. So we do it the same way. We know that we have 10 boxes, all adding up to 100%. So now 30 divided by 10 boxes, 
that's going to tell us that each box is worth three. Each box is worth three. Now, we know that she gave away 30% of them, so I'm not going to bother labeling all of them. We know she gave away 30% of them, so 10% all the way to 10%, that's 30%. So that's three, six, nine, okay? So that means nine, that's how many purses she gave away. She gave away nine purses, so that's going to be the answer to the question. Nine purses. That is a way of using a diagram to help you find percentages. Let's try a couple more. All right, we'll make this one our last example. Um, it says, explain how to find 70% of 50 using a percent diagram. So essentially, just try to take a moment in words, maybe think to yourself, press pause, see if you can explain what process we just went through in each of those examples. And if you, and if you really need to, hit rewind, see if you need to see them again. See if you can explain why. Essentially, what we found is, we, we said, choose, um, I'll just refer to boxes. So choose a number of boxes to correspond to how many pieces you're going to break 100% into. And the, how many pieces you break it into, each one needs to be worth something that goes into your, your desired percentage. That's how it's got to work. So what you can do is this. If you know that 70%, you, since we know that 10% goes into 70%, we will break our diagram. I'll say divide or break. Break or divide. We'll divide our diagram into uh, 100 divided by 10%. 100% divided by 10%. So, into, so that tells us 10 pieces. We'll divide into 10 pieces. And each one will be worth 10%. And we have 10 of them because 10% goes into 110 times. If we had chosen to make each of our boxes worth 25%, like if this had been 70%, and we wanted, so 75%, so we know that 25% goes into it, we would have only had four boxes because 25% goes into 100 four times. So now, <clears throat> so at this point, we've got our diagram into 10 pieces. We would then, then you gotta find out how much is each box worth. Then, we would find out how much each box is worth. So let's move this. Then we would find out how much, excuse that messiness, how much each bo box is worth. Each box is worth, okay. Now, once we know what each box is worth, Multiply that amount by how many boxes it takes going to 70%. Uh, then <clears throat> multiply that amount, that amount being what each box is worth. Then multiply that amount by seven boxes. And it's seven because each box is worth 10% and we're talking about 70%. So that's why it's seven. So that would be, so just to remind you why that's 70 divided by 10, 70% divided by 10% by seven boxes. And if you did that, you would find that <clears throat> of 50, you would find that if you had 10 boxes and those 10 boxes represent 50, that means each box is worth five. 50 divided by 10 is five. So each box is worth five. We're interested in seven of those boxes. So seven of those boxes times five, uh, a value of five per box, that's gonna tell us the answer is gonna be 35. So if you were to go through all that process and do the same steps we did in all the previous questions, you would find that it would equal um, 35. Seven times five is 35. So that tells you that is 70% of 50. And back to what we said about answers being reasonable, 70% is more than half and it's a huge majority of it. So we're expecting a num number that's way more than half than 50. So for example, half of 50 is 25. So we're expecting a number that's a bit higher than that. And so 35 is a reasonable answer. So this made sense what we were expecting. So guys, this was finding per uh, percents by using percent diagrams.